लर्निंग इंग्लिश इज नॉट एज डिफिकल्ट एज सम पीपल थिंक हाउ एवर इट्स स्टिल इम्पोर्टेंट टू टेक योर टाइम एंड लर्न द लैंग्वेज इन एन एफिशियंट वे दैट गिव यू द बेस्ट चांस ऑफ सक्सेस टू डेट एंड हेयर आर टेन टिप्स टू हेल्प यू बिकम अ बेटर इंग्लिश स्पीकर एंड लिजनर इन लेस टाइम देन यू माई थिंक पॉसिबल फर्स्ट टिप इज स्पेस्ड रिपीटिशन स्पेस्ड रिपीटिशन इज अ वे ऑफ प्रैक्टिसिंग इन विच यू स्पेस आउट रिपीटिशन ऑफ अ कंसेप्ट इट्स कॉल्ड स्पेस्ड रिपीटिशन बिकॉज यू ट्राई टू स्पेस दैम इवनली ओवर टाइम सो डेट यू शेल बी एबल टू रिकॉल इट लेटर इवन आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड इन ऑर्डर फॉर स्पेस्ड रिपीटिशन टू वर्क इफेक्टिवली every time you review something you are trying to learn ask yourself how well you remember it if it's still not very clear review it again soon ideally in just one or two days before trying again at a longer interval to practice efficiently make efficiently make sure your study sessions are well defined and don't last too long keep practicing sessions short and concise so that you have more opportunities for those spaces between repetitions second tip is build your vocabulary the more words you know the easier it will be for you to understand and what you are reading and speaking one of our favorite tools is 1000 most frequently used words it gives a list of words that are used most often in modern publications and it also shows how many times each word is used on average if you want to increase your reading speed it's important that you focus on reading widely that way you shall build your vocabulary with context practice makes perfect many people think they don't have time to practice their english skills but we strongly disagree with that notion third tip is be in an english speaking environment as much as possible for starters you can't learn something if you don't have exposure to it if you want to learn a language fast be sure that as much of your life is in an english speaking environment as possible joining groups or clubs where everyone speaks english and makes plan plans with friends who only speak english this will maximize your exposure and ensure that you won't forget what you learned while away from your studies also be aware of idioms because they might not translate directly into another language when reading or listening be careful that what is being said actually makes sense tip number 4 immerse yourself in movies and tv watching movies and tv shows in your target language is a fun way to get immersed in a new language you can feel like you are living in your target country without having to leave home this strategy works well for for absorbing vocabulary and natural language patterns but don't rely on it exclusively it won't help you develop con- conversational fluency for that you shall need direct interaction with native speakers movies are also a good source of learning grammar if that's what you are looking for tip num- tip number 5 is listen to music many people believe that listening to music in another language is not helpful but they are wrong in fact research has shown that listening to a foreign language while you exercise is especially beneficial one study found that speaking while exercising was better than not speaking at all but listening while exercising beat out both of these options give it a try and see if you notice an improvement in your pronunciation Tip number 6 is the use of apps for language learning. Learning a new language can be overwhelming. It often feels like there is so much you need to know that it's hard to know where or how to start. One of my favorite ways of learning anything new is with apps. Not only do they make studying easy, uh, but they also keep things interesting, giving me a reason to pick up my phone and give practicing a try every day following are some of my favorite apps for language learners first is duolingo duolingo is down one of my all time favorite mobile applications this app makes it fun and easy for beginners to learn basic words in many different languages like spanish french german italian and more while helping you improve your skills over time as well seventh tip is the use of podcast for language learning podcasts are a great way to enjoy language learning on your own time and at your own pace a major perk of podcasts is that you can choose an episode that suits your interests and focus on it whereas with language learning in other ways like classes or books 
books you may need to plow through material that doesn't interest you many podcasts are focused on specific topics so even if there is an episode you don't care for you can skip over it no matter how and where you can uh, you learn english online or offline there are so many free resources available online consider getting a list together of all of them you might be surprised by how much good content is out there tip number 8 is to join toastmasters international it's never too late or too early to learn a new language toastmasters international is a global organization that promotes effective communication through structured speech and leadership skills whether you are in your teens or 60s the organization has more than 3 lakh 50 thousand members who range from government leaders and business executives to teachers and stay at home parents meetings typically feature speeches role plays and other exercises that help you perfect your communication skills you can also use sites like dolingo and mind snacks in both ios and android to brush up on basic words phrases and conjunctions with bite sized lessons that are easy to digest whether you have time before long you shall be able to hold basic conversation with native speakers tip number 9 is to practice speaking with a native speaker the best way to learn a language is by speaking it if you are serious about serious about learning find a native speaker and ask them for help practice speaking their language with them as often as possible even if you make mistakes they will be sure to help you improve your fluency over time don't try to use english just stick with their their native tongue and start conversing right uh, right away it may sound scary at first but it's an essential part of learning how to speak a new language quickly tip number 10 is language exchange language exchanges language exchanges are a great way to learn another language you can do it virtually or through your local community center organization or meetup group your teacher gives you help with your second language skills reading writing speaking in exchange for your help learning their first language This method works best if you and your teacher speak two different languages. It's often harder to learn two di- dialects of one language than it is to study a second tongue. all on its own but even if you are just as passionate passionate about french as i am about spanish or is no reason that can't <laughs>